the 3rd of May. I am just, or I should say we are, Georgia and I are just back from her gymnastics and um, now waiting for a joiner to arrive because I want to get some of my doors shaved upstairs before the carpet gets fitted tomorrow. So the painting's all done and uh, we're just waiting for a carpet. But I thought I'd do a quick outfit of the day because I'm all pulled out today, look. I have on these really, really old pearl earrings. I think my mum got me them. Can't actually remember. But they've got pearls. Maybe my gran. They're that old. I actually can't remember. Um, pearls in 18 karat gold. I also have a pearl bracelet on. I need to. I can't remember what the name of that is. I'm going to go up and have a look. I have pearls on my shoes. These are my Corella shoes that I bought last year, I think it was, from TK Maxx. And then just my jeans from Zara. I think they were last year's with the pearls on them as well. So I'm all pearled out today. And that's a top. I think I got that from Next maybe a couple of years ago. We vest top underneath from the famous Primark or Primark depending on where you're from. So that's my outfit today. Jacket I had on this full leather from Zara. She really enjoyed wearing that today. I've just noticed there's a mark on it, which hopefully it will, oh dear me, rub off, but we'll see. We'll see how much mess the joiner makes. So I'm not gonna get the hoover out. Hopefully it does the shavings outside and not in my garage, because as you know, I've also cleaned out my garage. My pet hate when workmen come and decide to do their work in your clean garage. Ah, it looks quite nice, that bun. So this is how we're spending our Friday night. Well, actually, I'm gonna go and film a video. This is how Rico's spending. <laughs> no, I've not done it yet. So the carpet has now been lifted by Rico, and that's the staircase all bare now carpets to be fitted in the morning and you can see now how the staircase was originally that they must have had carpet in the middle and it must have just been painted on either side a very thin carpet at that but yeah here we go ready for the morning look at all the mess hello and welcome to the 4th of april my battery's flashing but that's the carpet's been fitted so let's have a quick look good morning and welcome to sunday the 5th of may i did start filming yesterday to show you my new carpet but um i then noticed that my wallpaper had been scratched by the carpet fitters the paintwork had been scratched by the carpet fitters my battery was running out so I gave up on filming yesterday, but I'm going to show you again. Here is the new carpet. We're going to fit the bed in and everything back today. I haven't actually bought new bedding for the bed, but what I have will do. I'm going to move my mom's chair into my filming room. That's the plan. And just move what I've got in there just now in here. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the wallpaper has been scratched along here and it's also been scratched here as well and that kind of goes all the way up and also here as well scratched just along here and down here as well you can see that the wallpaper has been scratched and then chunks have been taken out like this and you know it's just it goes on and on and on they were obviously very careless there was three of them so i'm not happy i've been back onto the company but i doubt they're gonna do anything but we'll see this is the new carpet and my on my stairs and my hallway yes it's very light and very stupid to have gone for something as light as this i didn't actually realize it was that light but anyway it's done i love it and that's it but tim um, look look at this great big chunk taken out of the paintwork it's ridiculous 
and it just goes on and on and on look great big chunks look at this i didn't change my wallpaper but look look at this here so i'm not very happy to be honest rico is outside doing the gardening just now hopefully he's going to help me um hopefully he'll be in the mood that we move the furniture back in and try and get this house sorted the plumber was in this morning so this is all fixed now i just need to wash out the bath where he's been fixing it so that's the taps fixed and that's me for my house decorating that's my lot rico's look he's cut down i don't know if you'll be able to see I'll try this window he's cut down some of the trees down here and put this kind of fencing at the back so this kind of needs tidied up the trees all need tidied up here but i'm loving that area there so i want to get new furniture for in there and move this furniture here back in the front because i like a little seat in the front you know just to catch the sun at different times of the day so here's rico building the new furniture there's the two loving chairs. It, you are loving it, aren't you? Oh. So that's our new table. Oh, and I'm going in because it's absolutely freezing. Oh. oh! Oh, it's freezing. Coming, Lulu. Come on. Come on. No, she's not coming in. We also bought one of these Venice Rattan Effect lamps, which matches the set I have also finished in my mum's room actually got quite upset when I was doing my mum's room because anyway here is the finished a bedroom well still got that to put up and the mirror to put up but we're waiting for the guys to come and check the wallpaper and all that but that's the uh, finished effect i kind of thought i should have maybe moved my filming stuff in here but i can't be bothered because this room's bigger but um yeah i was saying i uh, found it quite upsetting when i was reorganizing the room today and i started i haven't got rid of all my mom's clothes yet doing it and just taking my time doing it but um, I kind of thought oh why did I not decorate it when I had her here she would have loved it the room is so much brighter but then you know it's easy to think like that now and I know that and I didn't do it because I knew there was no point because of all the equipment that was in the room and all the goings on in the room you know all the things that go with dementia and that's what I had to remind myself back. I just, anyway, let's move on. Let's go and get ready to uh, review this Sarah Wall, wall this Sarah Wallet, which is what I'm going to do right now. But I'm going to get my glass of wine. Do, 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 do. Running down my new stairs. So every time I run up the stairs, I focus on that bit there that's chipped out my stairs. So people have no respect these days when they go into people's houses, honestly. Right, let's get the wine. My lipstick's awful bright, isn't it? And I look awful white. I'm not really white. I'm quite a well-tanned person. Hello and welcome to the 8th of May already. I know. Back from the gym. I did. What did I do this morning? I did 30 minute hit and 45 minute pump class. And then I went to the shops. I went to pick up some Airwick. Air, Airwick. Freshness, air freshness that you stick, I'll show you. Sorry, but that's my bin cupboard and my doggy cupboard. These types of things, I like to stick them where the bins are and I keep one in this food bin as well. And of course, I didn't have any. So I come back with all these things that I didn't need. Should we have a look? All the stuff that I bought that I didn't actually need. I got some Zoflora because I'm kind of running low on it. I got bicarbonate of soda because I normally use when I, because it's really great for cleaning things like this hob here. It's the only thing that seems to clean it is bicarbonate soda. And I just use the stuff that I normally use for cooking. But I saw this, so I picked this up. I was talking to somebody 
I was talking to a friend of mine, she said I would be better off picking that up when I saw it, so I picked that up. Thought I would try this because, you know, I thought I would. It's a fridge and microwave cleaner. Don't normally use a special cleaner for cleaning the microwave or the fridge, but I tried it. I got a floor cleaner to put in my new Vileda mop, which I do not like. I think I showed it in one of my vlogs. It's a Vileda one and I really don't like it. So my friend B. Rachel has said to me I need a steam cleaner. So I think that's the next purchase. I got this cream. This is Bicarb Cream. I don't know if this is going to be any good, but I got this anyway because I like to use things like that on my stainless steel pots. But what I normally use... This, oh, I'm running quite low on it. This is what I normally use, and I absolutely love this. My mum used to use this, and I use it, and I love it for my sinks, especially my pots, and it's just a great wee thing. So this is the Barkeeper's Friend Stain Remover. I used, I tried the cream of that version, and I don't like it. Of course, I need to buy sweeties, and I haven't had licorice all sorts for ages, so I've got a big bag of them, and I filled my sweetie jar just here. On the top of them, I've got Prosecco sweets, one or two Prosecco sweets left, and then thought go for the licorice, but Prosecco sweets is so much better. Got some new lights for my garden, because all the ones that I had were done. I also got some bird seed because my husband likes to feed the birds and I just picked these up for him. I don't like to feed the birds. I don't mind feeding the birds as long as it's not in my garden, but I hate feeding the birds because it encourages them to come together. I know this is the wrong thing to say, but they poo all over my shop. It drives me crazy when they poo all over my sh my shopping. My washing, it really drives me crazy, but just now I'm not getting my washing out and I saw them and I picked them up. Is that bird feeder just there? Well, that's Rico's bird feeder. And he loves to watch them perching on it and then the bird bath just below there. But see, when they poo my washing, it drives me crazy. I was like, that is it, that bird feeder is going away. Oh, I picked up two little windmills there and there. And Georgie likes them anyway, so I'm gonna go and do some editing because I don't have Georgie today because she's not feeling good and her mummy's not feeling good so um, they're just having a wee cosy day together and I think I'm gonna go and do some editing and then I'm going back to the gym tonight to do a step class oh the other thing I was gonna say to you I don't know if you've all noticed but I've had this little wish bracelet on my wrist I think it must have been on my wrist for about a year and they say when this breaks your wish may come true so my wish week, I can't tell you my wish though. But look, actually miss it, I really do. But my, I'm going to my friend's daughter's baby shower next weekend. And she said um, that they're giving them out at the baby shower. <laughs> so I'll get another one. Make another wish. Let's see if this one comes true. Oh, uh, do you know what I was going to say to you? I saw some faces recently that didn't know who Charles Rennie Macintosh was. So Charles Rennie Macintosh, now, I'm not an expert and I have been adopted in Scotland, so it's not actually my birthplace, but you can't help but know who Charles Rennie Macintosh is when you live in Scotland. So this is his sort of design and it's, to me, it's very distinctive. When I look at a, a Charles Rennie Macintosh, I kind of know what it is. It's those distinct lines and um, strength in the colour. So who was he? Charles Rennie Macintosh was an artist. No, actually, he was an architect, an architect, an artist, and a designer. And I think his wife was also an art. Uh, I think his wife was also an artist as well. Remember, I just this is all things I've kind of picked up on the way. Um, one of the things he was very famous for was the very high-backed chairs, that kind of style. You know where it, they're quite, and it's got this oh, the long back. That's 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 a typical uh, Charles Rennie Macintosh design. So. For those of you, Tanya, 
Mimi that didn't know who Charles Rennie Macintosh was. He was a famous Scottish artist designer. He designed buildings and artwork and furniture and that sort of thing. So that's a brief, I think he was from the 1800s or something like that, but I'm not an expert, just kind of, you know, take it all with a pinch of salt. But it's along those lines who Charles Rennie Macintosh was. So when you next have a sip from your wee Scottish cup, you'll know who Charles Rennie Macintosh was. Right, back to him. Um, editing. That's history done for the day. Oh gosh. Of all people, history from me. Hello and welcome to the 9th of May. It would have been my dad's birthday today. Yeah, he'd have been in his 90s by the way. Anyway, Rico and I are off out to eat. I'm going to catch a quick bite. I thought I'd show you my outfit. It's Thursday, by the way. We don't normally go out on a Thursday. But um, we were supposed to be going to my friends and blah, blah. Long story. I'm not even going to get into it. And um, we didn't. So we're just going to go out and get something to eat. Here's my outfit. This is the first outing for my uh, college bag. Love it. Absolutely love it. It is so me. I've got it crossbody on just now because I was done my Instagram. My top is a little cheapy from a quiz. My jeans are from Zara. My um, shoes are very expensive Manolos. <laughs> and uh, my college bag my Saint Laurent college bag and then jewellery I have Dior earrings and just my usual and I've also got my Tiffany bracelet on that my boys bought me years and years and years ago and I actually had the matching earrings and I lost one of them yeah on the other hand I have my links of London and we are ready to go out. We're just waiting for the taxi to come. And uh, jacket, oh! Which I've got thrown on the floor because I was Instagramming. It's just my full leather jacket from Zara. Yay! So I'll probably just be um, holding it by the top handle tonight. Looks nice with the shoes, doesn't it? Love to mix and match. So, uh, We've had an all right meal just across the road and whispering. Um, so we decided to uh, try a pub. It's not a thing we often do, rarely do. Probably this is the second time in the whole of my life I've been in a pub. But um, it's a pub. 